right, my name's Hunter, and today we'll define and explain what a continuous function is and what makes a function discontinuous. A simple definition of a continuous function is one that has no breaks or is always defined. All right, um, three rules that you, know, that you have to remember is f of a exists, um, the limit of f of x as x approaches a exists, and the limit of f of x as x approaches a equals f of a. Basically, for it to be continuous, it has to match all three of these. Um, for this one, you have a limit and um, limits here, but as you can see, f of a is here, so that one is discontinuous because f of a does not equal f of x. Um, this one you can rule out because um, the limit as x approaches from the right is here, while or from the left is here, while x approaches from the right is here. And so the limit as x approaches from the left does not equal from the right. And this one is continuous. Um, this is this fits all three because it's continuous all the way through. There's no breaks, um, and f of a is equal or f of a exists in this function. So my name is James, and today we're going to go over continuity and discontinuity in a real world example of a cell phone bill. So basically, what this is breaking down on this chart is. Um, a prepaid cell phone bill where you either have a different you know, type of plan. There's either extra small, small, medium, or large. And when you use zero minutes, it's gonna cost you zero dollars. When you use one to 100 minutes, it's gonna cost you three dollars. When you use 101 to 500 minutes, it's gonna cost you nine dollars, and so on and so forth. So basically, if you show this on a graph, what's gonna happen is, is zero dollars, you're gonna be down here. Once you use your first minute, it's gonna bring you up to three dollars, and then through your 100th minute, all the way through here, it is going to be $3. And then once you hit your 101st minute, it's going to jump up to $9. And then go to 500. So basically what this is showing is that when you take the limit of f of x as x approaches a, from the uh, right hand side, it's not going to equal the limit of f approaches x as x approaches a from the left hand side. So this shows discontinuity. So now we are going to go over how continuity exists in the real world. And to do this, we have a simple problem that basically states James runs 300 meters in one minute. And then to show this, we've drawn a graph, and basically when this breaks down, every 10 seconds he's running 50 meters. So if we draw the points, it's going to give us basically a line that's going to go straight up to here. And as you can see, there's no breaks in there. So if we apply the, the rules that we learned earlier, um, we can tell that the limit of f, f of x as x approaches a exists. And we can see that because as you're coming from the left hand side or the right hand side, no matter which point you choose, it's always going to exist. So also, um, we know that f of a exists. So if we had a point right here, let's call this A, we know that it exists on this line right here. Or over here somewhere, basically anywhere on the graph, it's going to exist. And then we also know that the limit of f of x as x approaches A equals f of A. So to see this, we know that uh, this would be f of x, and as this is approaching point A from either this side or this side, it's going to equal f of A, which is right there. Alright, so the things you need to know are uh, the rule for continuity is the limit of f of x 
as x approaches a equals f of a. Um, that's the definition. Um, to find that, um, these are the three main things you need to remember. Um, the limit of f of, f of x as x approaches a has to exist. Um, f of a has has to exist also, and the limit of the limit of f of x as x approaches a has to equal f of a. Um, so if you get anything out of this video, it is those three rules.